Youth issues are one of the most important issues to me, whether it's support for kids and after school programming, summer jobs. The YAP program is phenomenal because it fills a gap that really a lot of kids get lost in. So every summer I make it a point to go out and talk to them and encourage them to get involved and, and kind of be the change that they want to see in the community. Uh, for me, there's no more important investment in the future than an investment in our youth. And so I try to get that message across to them and let them know that they have a voice and it should be heard. APAC is on the front lines and helping the folks who need help in East Boston, and I work hand-in-hand -hand with them on a whole host of issues. I really look forward to continuing our work together, and I really appreciate the recognition. I more than 18 years work in Foster and Grandparents program. I work with kids, usually in the computer class, and try to improve their knowledge in reading, in math, using computers. My goal helps them become good American citizens. I very thankful ABCD choose me for this honor. I have a five-year-old daughter. We moved to Boston with my sister, and then we heard about this program, Head Start. I wanted to get involved with the program because of the opportunities that I heard that there were for parents involvement and engagement. Involving myself with the parent activities and the Policy Council Board was really big for me because I experienced a lot in my childhood. It really made me have a lot of interest and passion towards other families and, and children. So if I can be a community hero and spread that knowledge, I'm going to do that. I grew up in Mission Hill. It wasn't always easy. I was introduced to ABCD when I was about 14. I was able to get a job because that was the big thing in the neighborhood. I got involved with Parker Hill Fenway because of my connection with ABCD as a youth. It was only fitting for me to make sure that I stayed involved, making sure youth are hired every summer, being able to go and have talks with some of our young summer employees and being a guiding light for them. Coming from a low-income family, you know, it's personal for me. I know that those resources that come back to those families are very important. And so I enjoy doing that. I'm honored. I'm from Haiti. I came here for a medical treatment. I learned about ABCD and they told me that it's just like helping high school students to stay in school. I got the feeling that I want to try that. And then I did. They work smart. I learned a lot from them about like how to be professionals with coworkers. The one thing I really know about it that will definitely stay with me forever is that you are not too young to make a difference. My hope for the future is to be an activist for burn survivors like me and then encourage them that no matter what, they are beautiful, they are like shining star. My sister Janet McNeil was a caring person, born in public housing. My sister got involved in APAC because she always wanted to know what was going on in the community, what do they need, what kind of fundraisers. Like when she worked at the Tynan School, she got involved in the because she loved reading to her kids. She just realized that really helps them. She really enjoyed after school reading to them and she said they loved it, she loved it more. I'll say it's the biggest honor she would ever get because it came nominated by people she worked with that realized how much she really did and I just want to thank ABCD for it. <laughs>